one of the most important chapters in this book is the chapter on attitude and how your attitude towards life affects what happens to you. That connects to the thing that you and I made together, which is the uh, Amor Fati coin. Yes. Um, which is the idea that, that it's also a Nietzsche phrase of, of sort of loving everything that happens to you, not resenting it, not fighting against it, not carrying around a grudge or a burden, but sort of embracing it and finding the good in it. Yeah. Where does that fit in with our human nature? Well, it, it, do, it doesn't fit in because it's not natural to us. Our natural frame, our natural starting position is when something bad happens, why me? You know, to feel sort of a grievance. A lot of what I'm talking about in this book is overcoming some of these natural elements in human nature and turning them around and using them for another purpose, another way. And Amor Fati is very powerful in that you train yourself to accept everything that happens. It's like, for Nietzsche it was, this is life. Life involves pain. Life involves adversity. You're going to die one day and it's not going to be pleasant. Your friends and family members, they're going to die one day and it's not going to be pleasant. You're going to have failure in life. People are going to hurt you. But that is life. That's what it is. So to resist that, to be angry about that, means to not love life itself. Obviously you've gone through some adversity in your own life recently. Yeah. It's easy to talk about Amor Fati, yeah. especially when you're talking about, oh, I'm going to love that my plane is delayed or, yeah. you know, that my, there's some trouble with the printer in my book or something. How have you tried to practice Amor Fati recovering from a stroke? Well, you know what that's you? like. You were writing a book about stoicism and obstacles the way, and then you got robbed and you had all these things happen. <laughs> sure. And you were being tested. Well, I had a stroke and... Um, it's like the ultimate test for me. I've never had to go through something like this because I'm somebody who's very physically active and independent and suddenly I can't use the left side of my body and I'm completely dependent. And the initial reaction is the natural reaction. Oh man, damn, why did this had to happen? I've, this is so unfair. Why me? You know, if only I could just keep swimming and doing my life the way it was. I'm so upset. And I talk in the book, your natural reactions, you don't have to fight them. You have to go take the next step, which is the next day after you've gone through this, is to analyze your own emotions and why you're feeling that way. So I've had to go through that process, and it's actually been extremely powerful for me. I have to retrain my body. Every day I have to learn how to use my fingers again, like a baby. And I'm learning how the mind works. I'm learning about patience and frustration, about my own limits. And I can't necessarily say I love my stroke. I think that would be false of me to say something like sure. that. I don't love that this happened, but I've accepted it and I've discovered how it can make me a better and stronger person.